Peace, love, and light, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. I'm Amina. If you're new here, do hit the subscribe button and the like. Make sure you comment if this reading resonates with you. This is a pick a card reading for spirit babies. Spirit babies have been on my neck about doing readings for them, for you guys. And I finally am getting around to it. So this will be the first one that's done for a general collective, okay? With that being said, it's still a general message. You take what resonates, you leave what doesn't. So that we can set this up, I've tapped into the energies of spirit babies that are waiting to be born. They're either right around the corner, meaning you're about to get pregnant or you are pregnant, or they're in the future, but right now the decisions you make, the actions you take will contribute to how the union comes together for you to have these spirit babies. Also, I'm tapping into unions that are specifically for twin flames and soulmates here, right? The reason I'm saying that is because spirit babies can be born in unions that aren't necessarily meant to stay together, i.e. out of karmatic situations, out of, you know, people who came in your life to be a blessing and a lesson, but they're not really your counterpart. So at some point you've moved on or progressed. I may do readings if I'm led to for that type of spirit baby, if I'm led to do so. I haven't been led to do so yet. But I'm pointing that out in case you guys are like, I have kids, but my person isn't my twin flame, whatever, da, 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 da. These aren't, th these are different. <laughs> and again, these are babies who have not been born yet. They're waiting to be born. So they're following, they're just as much a part of your journey as, you know, if you have kids, if you have kids that are already with you and you, you're dating or you're going through whatever you're going through with your masculine, just like those kids are kind of with you, spirit babies are with you, but spirit babies have all the tea. They see everything. <laughs> with that being said, we're going to tap into what it is they want you to do. Now, these are chakra stones here. We have a stone representing the heart, solar plex, and third eye. Don't worry about trying to pick them based on your favorite stone or based on the chakra that you think you need work with, because honestly, a card may reveal something different. Choose the stone that really pulls your attention. It's really calling you, okay? Take a few minutes if necessary to do that. You can pause this video. You can breathe in for five, hold the breath for five, let it out for five. You can do that three times. And when you're ready, we'll jump into the reading. All right, group one, here's your spread. So, Right off the bat, we have the Seven of Cups energy. Seven of Cups is coming in here talking about the different options laid out before you. I feel like these options, it's a mixture. It's a mixture between work, family, significant other, or your general immediate family, um, as well as just options of how you believe working up to these spirit babies should develop. You, you kind of feel like you have all these different things that you can sort of like take a little pinch of this and that from. Spirit babies are saying no, 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 no. It's kind of like being a kid in a candy store and you kind of want a little, you want to sample a bit of everything, but the reality is if you mix too many things together or if you choose too many different flavors, you'll make yourself sick because you've overdone it, right? Or if you don't take your time and choose wisely, you might end up regretting what you actually received. And you might say, dang, I wish I would have chose something else. It's kind of like that. This is about being more mindful and patient about the process that's necessary to build a family and not having such a attached idea of how it may go. So for example, maybe you think you need to have a lot of money in order to have a family. You think that you have to have a certain kind of house, live in a certain kind of neighborhood, et cetera, et cetera. You're so bent on the particular details of that, looking in the mirror, looking in the window, trying to figure out how you're gonna bring all those details into fruition that you're becoming anxious. So I feel like some of you might be a bit older. You haven't had your first kid yet and you're like in your 30s or 40s. You can conceive. You might have already been checked out. You might have already been told, hey, your body is fine. You can conceive. There's nothing wrong with you. But you're looking at the clock like, but the clock is ticking. I got options, but I don't have long for these options. And the clock is ticking. And it's like spirit babies are like, no, no, there's divine timing here. When you step into being more patient and you take your time with the decisions in life that are before you, because again, this is different decisions in life. When you take your time, 
and you choose wisely, you will manifest what you need. What you need will come. Notice the Knight of Pentacles is here. The Knight of Pentacles, sometimes, yes, the Knight of Pentacles comes in slow. The reason is because the Knight of Pentacles weighs all the different options. You know, they've worked hard to get that coin. They've worked hard to be handed and to manifest that coin. So by the time they're coming to offer it to the person that they want to offer it to or to the goal or situation they want to offer it to, they're fully prepared for that investment, right? So I feel like for some of you, the page is you. You're the person looking at all these different options. You're a little confused. You don't know what to choose. You're thinking to yourself, maybe I should sample a bit of everything, i.e. maybe I should paint a picture of this very Pacific one way, one style life before I think of having a family because the clock is ticking and I need to get it done now. But this energy is coming in to tell you, take your time, choose wisely. You don't have to rush anything. When you take your time and you choose wisely, things will manifest quicker anyway. Versus you sitting there tapping your foot in front of the glass, like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not going to make it go quicker. That's going to slow down the process. So spirit babies are saying, no, don't do that. There's also a burning question that's been on your mind. And the spirit babies are telling you, no, whatever that burning question was, whatever that thing you were thinking of doing was, spirit babies say, don't do it. No, no mama or papa. It's it just no, <laughs> right? So don't worry about being confused. The divine will help guide you. You just need to be open, pay attention to the signs. Don't overanalyze. If you can, go ahead and set a dream board. There's nothing wrong with setting a dream board for the type of family or home you want. But don't be super attached to how it develops. And don't be so attached to it going one way that when it tries to come in your life in a new, better way, you miss the opportunity because you were too busy focusing on the wrong thing. So in other words, to summarize even more don't look at the cup with all the riches so hard that you forget something more simple still valuable but more simple that can help you get to that cup quicker you were so busy trying to get that cup fast that it'll probably slow down your process don't worry about being confused on which one you need to to choose and all that stuff let the divine guide you in that right now for some of you the page is your significant other Coming in with an offering. I feel like for this group, some of you are already expecting maybe. You're not too, you're probably not too far off from either conceiving a child or having a child with your divine counterpart. And maybe some of what you're anxious about and so confused about making the decision in is, is like, you know, what does the baby room look like? Stuff like that. But just calm down and be patient. Take your time with it. That's the main focus of this. Now, some of you might have been wondering what type of baby you're having. Many of you are having a boy if you chose this stone. But I got to warn y'all. I got to. Some of y'all thought y'all were probably like safe. Some of y'all are having twins. And one baby is hidden behind the other baby. That's what channeled in. It's interesting that channeled in because there's a card in this deck that actually speaks towards twins. And that card didn't come out for you guys here, as you can see, right? But that's what I'm hearing is some of you, you think you're having a girl and the ultrasound was wrong. You're really having a boy. And for some of you, you think that you're only having a girl or boy, but there's another baby hidden behind and it happens sometimes. So just, you know, that might be something you want to go check out, suggest to your doctor, see if that's what's happening, you know there's a way a doctor should be able to check for that sometimes though they just miss it and they don't know until you're literally in labor so if you've been feeling like you've been having two cravings you've been dreaming of two kids you you got a grandma that told you i dreamed of two three four fish yeah just brace yourself for that if that's you if that resonates remember only take what resonates right we have union which I, again i feel like it speaks to if your partner is the pentacles this is about a union coming in this set, uh, you know, intensifying. So if you're dating your divine masculine already, this is about the union going to that next step. If you're married to your divine masculine already, then this is about that union developing to the point where you'll be ready to have a family or plan to have a family. But just remember, don't, don't be so attached to the outcome of it. Let things manifest the way that they're supposed to. I've been seeing 707. 707 is, is a number that, that comes in for this. So just let things progress, right? 
for the twin flame union between you and your partner we have travel i feel like it speaks once again to that union in the conception of these kids coming in sooner than later because it says be ready for new experiences movement meeting adventure be ready for new experiment uh, experiences some of you may have the option to move especially if you're in a union that's maybe you're newly engaged about to be one of the things you might be planning with your partner is moving into a new place together, something that both of you made and can create into a home together, right? That could be a part of what it is. Some of you, when this when this corona thing clears up more, you might be thinking of traveling. Some people are traveling now. They're just being very safe about it. They're like cross-country traveling. But you might want to travel somewhere further out, like another country, maybe an island, maybe the islands. I'm here in the islands for some of you. So it's like a part of the planning that you're laying down. And as long as you take your time with that planning, it should manifest when it's ready to manifest. But there is you know, movement coming here. For those of you who feel like you've been, and this, this is a smaller group, but I still have to point them out. You feel like your divine masculine is near, but you have not met them yet. But you keep feeling their presence. That's what that meeting is about. So union for you is you and that partner coming together. But it might be such an intense coming together that, you know, y'all may y'all may be creating something sooner rather than later. <laughs> right? So group one, that was your reading. Hope that resonates with you. Leave a comment below if it does. All right, group two. Solarplex. What we got going on for you guys this okay um i don't know if you chose any other <laughs> group because of course you're entitled to choose more than one if you wish if you chose group one then this is interesting the reason i'm saying that is because group two even more so than group one y'all coming in here like the, the kids around the corner <laughs> like the kid is just sitting there waiting to leap into the body. It's they're just waiting. They're like cooking right now as we speak because this is this is interesting. So we start off. Let's start off with what they they want to point out. In the last group, they had me start off with the tarot. In this group, they're having me start off with what they want to say. So automatically, your root chakra is blocked. All right. Your root chakra being blocked means that you you might have in some point in time been in a state of survival mode. You felt like you had to um, maybe put up walls or barriers, which might be affecting you coming into union. If you're already in union with your partner, it could be creating communication issues and that makes you stress. And when the body is stressed, it's harder to conceive when the body is stressed particularly when you're very, very, very aware of the stress. Sometimes people can have a stressful life, but they don't focus on it 24 hours a day. But those who focus on it 24 hours a day, you have to realize that your thoughts and your feelings and emotions manifest in your body as any and everything, ailments, cures, all of that. So getting the root chakra in order is important. And for a lot of you, it's because of something, something that's been nagging at you. There's a problem, an issue that you just, you can't seem to get it off your mind. It's really nagging at you. So they want you to communicate with the Archangel Sandifon, I believe it says, or Sandifon, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, forgive me. It's been a while since I've had to say like the name's exact pronunciations. I just saw 1111. But they, they want you to communicate with the Archangels. This can also be your guides, Who, whoever your guide is you know, your, what your belief system is, but they want you to communicate to a higher power, take your worries to that higher power, and then allow for that higher power to guide you out of whatever that block is. Okay. But you know, when you do your meditations, if you're one that does meditations a lot, focus a lot on the root chakra, listen to frequencies about healing the root chakra, and just let go of whatever is stressing you out. I feel like a huge part of that cycles. You got the wheel of fortune here. This is speaking to the cycle of time. This is a new cycle wanting to come in, right? In order for a new cycle to come in, the old one must transition out. And perhaps that's a part of what has you in survival mode. Something's changing around you. It's, it's not a tower moment. It's not a sudden change, but it's enough that you don't quite know yet 
how to cope with it. You don't quite know how to flow with it yet. And spirit babies are saying, just flow. New cycles are good. New beginnings are good. You know, th this is this is a beautiful thing here. Just let it flow. I just heard, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. What's that? That's Tony Braxton? I believe it really says let it go, right? Anyway, it's a Tony Braxton song. It just channeled in that way. We have the three of cups here. Yeah, these spirit babies. Y'all might be celebrating news of them very soon. This is like getting together with friends, having a carefree moment, maybe a baby shower, perhaps, could be. Y'all might be in the middle of planning a baby shower right now as we speak. But this is also about you having some me time. Take the time to just call up your friends and say, look, I just want to have like a chill day. If you're already pregnant, you know you can't be drinking. But that can be juice. That may be juice. You can have some juice, <laughs> right? And just get together and talk and, and, and relax, focus on some happiness. Happiness is good for the soul. It's good for the body. It's good for the mind. And that's what you need right here. But I do feel like this card is coming in to say that that new cycle kicking off is you stepping into a union and you getting ready to have your spirit baby, right? To further prove that point, we have mama, papa, you're almost at the finish line. Don't stop now. So there's like a goal you've been trying to achieve. Again, might be a, something you were worried about with that root chakra and this new cycle coming in. The, the new cycle is a blessing, but sometimes people aren't ready to handle their blessings because they're overthinking, they're overanalyzing. And your spirit baby is saying, look, we're almost at the finish line. You, there's no need for you to worry about what it is. You just need to keep going. And again, with this three of cups sitting here, I feel like the celebration is you've reached that finish line. You've reached whatever that goal is that you were trying to accomplish because you weren't focusing on the time. You were just working and getting it done that by the time you blink, you'll be announcing to your friends as as pregnant baby's on the way or wife is pregnant baby's on the way. We have vulnerable. Yeah, see part of healing that root chakra. Being vulnerable involves a lot of strength. It's not a weakness. I know some divine masculines also check out these spirit baby readings, even if they don't like to admit it. Being vulnerable, it, it's an important, crucial thing, especially when you're getting ready to have kids because children, spirit babies, when they manifest in the physical, they will pull out all of your raw emotions anyway. You don't want to be closed off and you don't want to teach them to be closed off because they're born open. They're born consciously aware. They're, they're conscious spiritual beings the moment that they take a first gasp in this life. And you want to be vulnerable enough to accept that kind of love. And in order to do that, you have to be vulnerable with yourself. And this is for divine feminists too, but uh, you know, some masculine energy came in here with this card. Both of you guys need to learn to be vulnerable. Surrender all of your worries to whatever that higher power is you believe in. Call on your guides, call on this archangel, ask them to help you, listen to the signs, do your meditations, and just relax, right? Worrying and stressing, it's not going to help anything. It's not going to cure anything. It's just going to make you sick and frustrated. Allow this new cycle to come in and flow with it because it's a blessing. It's a positive sign, not a negative. You'll be celebrating with your friends about the good news about this spirit baby coming in here. I feel like some of you may have been trying to conceive and you might have been struggling with it at one point. And spirit is, and maybe that's why that root chakra is blocked like that because you're, you're afraid, right? But spirit is coming in here to say it's all going to work out. And remember, take what resonates for you right we have offer some of you this it, again I, I stated before that these readings are like people who are the babies are right around the corner or a few years off I, I do feel like for this group it's a little closer than you may think but that's not necessarily for everyone that resonates with this group focus on what resonates but there's an offer coming in here an, a gesture an engagement a wedding rejoicing your union right remember we have this this celebrating Three of cups here and cups is emotions, right? So a celebrating of a wedding, celebrating a baby coming about, 
celebrating the baby then the wedding i feel like some of you might be pregnant before the wedding part takes place but you're in a sacred union you're in a union where the order doesn't it doesn't matter because you're with who you're supposed to be with remember this is a twin flame soulmate reading here right so look for a gesture to come in soon i feel like some of you probably and and, and it's not about timing when when it says soon it doesn't mean, okay, tomorrow your divine masculine is going to propose to you or, ooh, sit around on pins and needles waiting for the question to be popped. That's not what that means. It just means that as you take your time to flow with that will of fortune, you might have said to yourself, I'm going to have kids in two years. The kids may be born within the next nine months, next 12 months. If, you know, don't put a time limit on. Just let it come the way it's supposed to come. But it's definitely rushing in here because the spirit babies themselves are saying, look, we're almost at the finish line. Some of you watching this may very well be pregnant right now. You might have been stressing out a bit over maybe a family issue or just something in regards to perhaps the wedding or the kid. It, I'm not really picking up on anything toxic from here for this group. So it is probably just stress, something from the past you need to let go, a vulnerability that you need to have. You're not used to the thought of being a mother or a father, and that makes you feel a bit scared. And it's okay to admit that that makes you feel scared, but you have to trust and believe that these spirit babies trust you, trust in yourself, allow you. You've gotten this far in life, right? You don't need to, to stress this situation. You will be great parents love your kids love love yourself allow the love that's within you to expand right allow the love of this union to expand and i mean for a lot of you i'm picking up on a wedding i feel like some of you may be renewing vows you know your situation so take what resonates i feel like that's all for for you group two peace love and light all right group three let's get into it so I feel like out of all of the groups, you're probably, I mean, you, all the groups felt pretty simple, but I think you're the most simple here. So for starters, I do feel like this is a group where it's about, it's a little bit of a mixture. Some of you, these spirit babies are a ways away. You're, you're not, I mean, unless you have a slip up, you're not planning on conceiving them and, and they're not coming in quite yet. Still could, but the chances are it'll be a minute you're getting other things in life ready right now we have the justice card here this is speaking to you standing in your own righteous standing in your truth and making sure that you're justified in your life and how you express yourself so what that means is you don't go out of your way to be petty or you know don't get involved in petty conflicts petty situations don't speak lies on yourself or other people. When you are stepping in your truth and in your own righteousness, karma will pay you that in kind. Karma goes both ways regardless of what you do. If you do something negative, karma will repay you in negativity. If you do something positive, then you will have a positive in return. So keep in mind to just be honest with yourself. It starts with self. Be honest with yourself. Be honest about your feelings going on around you I feel like many of you from this group are single you're not yet in your unions or you're about to be you might have been in unions that were on and off there's a little bit of a mixture coming in here but speak your truth focus on your righteousness everything else will fall into place right uh, spare babies spare babies want you to do some spring cleaning if you want to walk them in new energy you have to get rid of the old it's time to spring clean mama Daddy, put some music on so I can dance with you. That last part is about being in good energy when you do it. You know, don't think about cleaning as a task or a chore. Think about it as I'm cleansing my space. What? I'm bringing in new energy, new blessings, prosperity, whoop, whoop, party. Right? But they're not just talking about clean like dust off a shelf. They're telling you if you got an object around you or if you're living in a space you just you're, you're keeping a bunch of old things that carry negative vibration, old clothes, old pictures, old, whatever it may be, whether you keep it because you you're sentimental to it, whether you're keeping it because um, you just don't want to get rid of it. Somebody gave it to you and you feel like it's rude to throw out. It has a negative vibration or it's simply it's just time to let it go. 
It's time to let the clutter go. It's time to, and this is clutter of emotions, clutter of material things. And sometimes when you physically do a spring cleaning, like when you physically go and throw things away, it helps in that process of cleaning. It's kind of like when people cut their hair because they want to be like a new them. They want to regrow the hair and be a whole new, you know, a whole new me, whole new person type of vibe. It's kind of like that, but with cleaning. So we're heading into the fall season. Some of you may not have done spring cleaning. Some of you might have a bunch of old stuff that you need to get rid of. And we're not just talking about having a messy space. Again, old pictures, clothing that you probably can't fit no more, all that. Just get rid of it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. That's what I just heard. <laughs> you know, um, focus on your craft. This is a this is a group that's crafty here. You might be good at something with your hands. Um, could be clay. I'm actually seeing like somebody working with clay or like molding clay in their hand. But you you're crafty. You're somebody who's really good at at making things or simply manifesting things into reality. This is saying that you have a special gift of creation and that you need to focus on it. Focus on your craft zone in on it because that craft it's it's going to help open the door for the type of lifestyle that you need it's going to help ease some of the the material burdens i'm hearing material burdens so some of you might have been going through like a financial issue with the corona and all that going on right now a lot of people still can't go to work this is the perfect time to start working on your craft working on a different skill having a backup plan and taking your time don't stress about it because when you stress, it's not fun. And when it's not fun, you ain't going to get it done. Just ease yourself into it. So if you're an artist, painter, clay maker, construction worker, engineer, like you're, you're just, you're, I'm, I keep picking up on people who are good with their hands. You might be a cook. I just seen somebody like really cooking, like a cook, cook. Like I went to school for this kind of cook, <laughs> you know, or like my grandmama was like the best cook ever. And now I'm like all professional. I just seen like a cook with a whole uniform and everything. Focus on that craft because you might be getting ready to start a business that involves that. So expand, right? The answer is yes. That's all I heard. No Pacific. So use your discernment. The answer is yes, spirit baby say. Gather. Gather is about getting together with friends and family that support your dreams, support your goals, right? These are people who, when you start working on that craft, they're going to encourage it. They're going to go, you know what? Do you need some? It's, it's not that all of them may have financial ability, but if they do, they'll contribute in some manner. Or, you know, word of mouth is still one of the quickest ways to expand a business. They're willing to go to someone and say, look, my friend or my sister, brother or cousin does blah, blah, blah. And so again, if you're crafty with your hands and they're promoting your business, focus on those bonds, especially when times are stressful. That That's something consistent I kind of feel with all these groups to an extent is, you know, you stress out over certain things and you need to be able to hang with people that relax your mind. They don't get you caught up in nothing crazy, but they relax your mind. Okay. If you guys heard a beeping sound, that might have been my phone. Like, I think a message came in. But, you know, focus on building bonds that bring in prosperity in your life. Now, some of you have an issue with control when it comes in regards to your union. Again, you might be single. You may. Okay, and we're back. Okay, we're back. All right. A text message came in and completely cut off my video. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, some of you are trying to be a bit too controlling in your union or how your union may come about and it's creating stagnation. Some of you might also have certain delusions or illusions around how you think or who you think this masculine is or this feminine is because I'm picking up on both. Again, both parties, both divine feminists and divine masculines watch spirit baby readings. It's not always just feminine energy, right? But you need to let go of trying to control the situation. So focusing on your craft and speaking your truth, like being honest with yourself, gets rid of the stagnation. It gets rid of the delusions. It clears all of that out, right? Now that you're focusing on your craft, 
and you're gathering with friends and family that are encouraging you in a positive way, you're letting go of the need to control. You're letting it go. See how simple that is? (laughs) So just allow for things to flow. I feel like that's the consistent energy across all of these groups regardless of which cards you chose especially if you chose more than one it's about allowing things to manifest yes you can do your dream boards yes you can start saying okay by you might even say by this age i want a kid it doesn't necessarily mean that by that specific age you will have one it still could come a year later right but you're putting the energy and the vibrations out there for it and you're you're going to say you know what universe you go ahead and send this to me the best way for my highest good. And then you just focus on being the prepared vessel for that, whether you be the divine masculine or the divine feminine, be prepared. And some of you are in, you're in same sex unions. I'm picking that up too. So you're probably more likely to adopt or to do, what is it? The, the, the moms, the surrogates. You might go to surrogates in order to, to have a kid for your union. And that's that look, that's fine. There are still certain things that personally within self you need to be prepared for before you bring the child in, before you manifest it in. So don't stress about it. Don't stress about your partner and what they're doing and where they're going right now. Release that control. Let it go. That way, that stagnation that you've been feeling, that they've probably also been feeling, it can clear up and you can move forward properly. And that was your reading group three. That was everybody. If you've watched all of these, if you connected with all of these, I wish nothing but love, blessings, and peace on your union for your spirit babies. Let them come in the world healthy, strong, powerful. Blessings to you. Comment below if you resonate. I'll do more of these readings in the future.